Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Monday, June 17th, 2024. In the top rows, I'll have a three that I can place in box three, row two, in two spots. There are three threes looking into box three. Um, beyond that, I have eight, four, oh, I can place a nine in row one, box two. In the middle, I can place a two, box four, row five, and I believe that's all I get, and there's nothing in box four, actually. That'll be interesting. Six, seven, nine, five, eight, otherwise, so I'm done. And on the right, on the bottom three rows, I can place a four in box seven. There are one, two, three fours looking into it. That places a four column four, column three, box four, excuse me. And now if I look by columns, other than four, I can place a five in column one, box four. That might be all I get. Without five and four, I have the digits three, one, six, nine, and eight appearing once each. In the middle columns, I'll be able to place a two in column six, box two. And on the right side of things, I can place a nine in column seven, box nine. An eight, actually in two spots, not three. But beyond that, I have seven, two, six, eight, and four appearing once each. I'm done. Okay. If I look for crossings looking into a box, I can place the digit eight in box one. There are five spots for it, however. These are ruled out by the eight in column three, and these in row one are ruled out by the eight in row one looking left. So there's only one space for an eight right there. In turn, that places an eight in two spots in box four, column five. Let's see. Okay, I need to place a nine and a three in column two, neither of which can go there. They could both go here, so that doesn't help me much. Bo box seven needs two, three, seven, and nine appearing. Unfortunately, that central cell, I think, could be Anything but two. So I have three spaces. Oh, no, I don't. Three is on a diagonal and has two spaces left in box seven. Uh, that's it. Let's see, this cell is quite restricted. Row eight, column nine. It cannot be. Two, three, four, five. Or six, eight, nine. So that's down to one or seven. Oh, these cells can't be one. So one have to be there, box three, row two, and therefore one is in one of those two cells. Now box one needs a one, two, six, and seven. The two highlighted cells can be any of those digits. The central cell can be anything but one or six. That one can be two, six, seven. I don't get help, do I? These can't be nine, five, or eight. Clean these up and I have no help. See, these can't be two, five, or eight. 
So the other mod 3 could work. It doesn't get me much. These aren't 1, 2, 5, 7. For column 4... No. 3, 4, 6, 8, 9. Well, this sees everything but 9. That's helpful. Those two are now an 8, 9 pair, now that I've ruled 9 out of here. This can't be 9, so that one must be in box 2, based on my corner markings. Uh, 3 still crosses a region in column 4. That does not help me. But row 9 now has 5 digits. I need 1, 2, 5, and 7. That one sees 2 twice. This can't be 7. It's 1, 2, 5. This one, I think, is any of them. I've got three-fourths of a 1, 2, 5, 7 quad in box 9. These ones can't be 2, 3, 8, or 9. They are from 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't get much help, do I? Let's see. These can't be 2 because of derived. Uh, did I make a mistake? I may have. This could still have been two, couldn't it? You know, he said eight's in one of those two. 9 is one of those two, and once it's not there, no, that logic chain is correct. Okay, so we're at the point where this can't be 2. So those cells can't be 2 by derived pair. These can't be 2, so 2 must be down on row 9, which means this isn't 2 and therefore must be 7. Uh, one, two, four, six, seven. I've got four fifths of a quintuple there, but I can't do anything else with it, unfortunately. Four, six, eight, nine. Leave one, two, three, five, seven for the rest of column nine. This almost certainly ends up being one or three, but I have to prove that. Oh, these can't be three. What does three go in? Uh, I could go here, or here, or here even. Three is not placed in box eight. I thought for a moment there I had it placed. No, I don't. Those four cells cannot be four, seven, eight, nine. These cells can't be 1, 3, 5, or 9. I have nothing useful there. Okay, this cell cannot be 3, 7, 8, 9. Anything else is still possible. Okay, wait a minute. We've just discovered those can't be 5 because of this 5 in the box. That one can't be 5, 5 in column 4. So, 5 in row 1 must go in one of those two cells. Therefore, these can't, none of those can be a 5. That puts a 5 in one of those two, but unfortunately I don't have anything else that goes with it. 
This one's not two, three, eight, or nine. And then it's by column, and then it sees six and seven by box and five by row. So those can't be five because of derived place five and given five. That's not five by given in row six. That's not five by given in row eight. Five in row seven only has one space. So this is a one, two. That's a five. Let's see, two, four, five, nine says one, three, six, seven, eight are needed for the rest of row seven. Let me clean this up a little bit. I don't get much usefulness out of it, but the five in column five will place the six. And therefore the five and the four and box two will be complete. This is seven, that's a one. These aren't seven, that's not one, but seven, six. Okay, that's not one. One or seven are ruled out of the very top right of the grid. Four, seven, go in. Let me clean this up a little bit. Okay, two, three pair in row two will place the five and the six and the four and the six to complete row three. Those two were not six. Let's see, that's not four, but I have two other spaces for it. In column three and in box four, this can't be six. So that also doesn't help me much. Let's see. Two, four, five, nine. Okay, I've got one there. We knew that. Let's see, this is a one, two, three, triple for column seven. Yeah, wait a minute. Okay, if these both can't be two, then we have a problem. I have three different one, three pairs in the same region. That doesn't work. So I made a mistake someplace. These two are four and nine. If that's right. Now that must be a four. This one can't be. One, three means two, one, two, three. One. Oh, that could be a five. Maybe I mistyped something. This can't be one. Uh, that's not three, and I meant to put that as not four. Those aren't three. This isn't one. Okay, that's not five. That one must be. Okay, two, three, so this can't be a two. Okay, this is going to be from 1, 2, 6, or 9, and must be 1. It sees all the other digits at the top left of box 4. That should finish off row 6 without too much drama, which in turn will resolve the triple in row 1. Three six pair in column six makes that one seven. And that was the only digit left. It's an eight. There we go. 
Okay, 15 minutes, and I essentially mispenciled the grid. I got lucky with that cell being a 5. 